Now what if I want to have an undercut instead of an overhang on my stair stringer? Now this would be um, instead of having a overhang like a stair tread sticking past the stair riser one inch, I would have this point here coming back an inch. Instead of having to stick over an inch, I'm going to have it come back an inch. And this gives me a different look to my finished stairway. A lot of interior stairways are actually finished like this. What you're going to want to do is get your 10 inch measurement for the stair tread and then simply make a mark one inch past it. There I have a one inch mark past the stair riser and then what you're going to want to do and again remember you want to make a pattern you want to use a pattern to cut all of your stringers out line your framing square up with the tip here and your one inch point now you want to line it up with your one inch point on this line here you don't want to come down here and come over an inch because you're not going to get the same measurement make a mark And I made that mark faint because I'm right-handed and I have a problem filming and doing this at the same time. So bear with me there. Now, if I come over here, you can see, let me zoom in here so you do see, I have a line here that I'm going to cut. So I'm going to cut my stair tread all the way across to here now not stopping it here I'm actually going to take this line here and scribble it out so I don't get confused so my stair stringer is going to cut from here to here and I'm going to want to do that on every riser even this one here now don't forget if you're cutting if you've already got this measurement cut at the bottom of your stair stringer or you're going to be cutting it out you need to go down to the bottom where it's seven and a half inches. Don't forget to make your mark here, the one inch mark, and then draw your line from the one inch back to the front here. So remember, don't use these lines to go back an inch, otherwise you're going to have one heck of a problem. If you were to mark it from here to an inch here, and draw a line you can see how far back you would be so that covers your one inch one inch cut back instead of an overhang for your tread